All right, so let's uh, let's get started with the uh, with the schemas. Let's uh, start working on on this uh, schema. We already have a schema for students for users. Uh, let's uh, let's work on some of the schemas for the quizzes and submissions and questions and whatnot. Okay, so let's uh, create a uh, MongoDB uh, schema uh, um, that uh, we can start um, uh, populating. Okay, let's see where we are. Uh, right now in the project. Uh, I think this is where we left off on enrollments. Let's, let's uh, close all these. Uh, and this was the uh, uh, web dev Angular project that we started working uh, last week. Let's get that up and running. Let's see, this is the web, web dev Angular. Uh, let's see where we are. Uh, we are in master. I believe we we have everything in here. Let's um, let's npm uh, let's do an npm start so we can start the uh, the project up and running. Uh, oops, I think we might already have something running at um, at that port. Uh, let's see, is that it? No, is this it? Probably this one. Uh, let's see if we can hit it here. I believe this might be it. Yes, this might be it. All right, we we uh, we worked on enrollments, sections, course navigator. All right, so let's uh, let's uh, work on uh, on quizzes and whatnot. So let's uh, let's get started on the server side and generating what the schema looks like. And, and uh, I'd like to introduce a couple more advanced uh, topics on MongoDB and, and schemas. Okay. Uh, on the on the server side, uh, we have another. Um, we have another project that we started uh, uh, late last week. It was the uh, the Summer 12 um, to 12 uh, Server Node JS, right? Server uh, uh, Server Node, right? Uh, which uh, I believe is running already. And this is where we hosted uh, sections and enrollment and and users and, and whatnot, right? Uh, so let's uh, uh, let's uh, let's uh, add here some schemas to be able to capture uh, quizzes, okay? All right, so let's do that. Let me close this. Uh, close these from last week. And that project, I believe it's this one. Uh, where is it? I think is it this one? No, that's not it. So this is the Angular one. And I believe this is a Node.js. Let me see where we are. Uh, Git uh, branch. Okay, so we're both in master. We have uh, this right here. Uh, and web dev angular okay we're both in master master and master so we're going to create a feature branch because we're going to be working on quizzes uh, this week All right so we're going to say git uh, checkout uh, dash b and uh, this is quizzes All right so that's on the on the angular side I'm sorry, that's the Node.js side. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing on the Angular side. So git checkout minus b quizzes. All right, so on both, on both ends, we're going to be working on the server side, on the Angular side, on quizzes. Uh, all right, so the, on the Node side, let me make sure we're in the right branch. OK. All right, so let's create a, 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 simple, um, a simple schema for quizzes. So let's create a directory. Okay, so remember that we're going to follow this naming convention and this file structure where uh, uh, particular mod models and schema, right, uh, they, they are uh, implemented in, a, in, the, in the models directory and then a dedicated directory for that particular schema. So in there, we can create uh, the quizzes schema. So we'll create um, quiz.schema. Uh, dot server dot js. All right. Okay. Uh, and uh, and here we uh, will use uh, mongoose to create the schema. So let's uh, load uh, mongoose. So this is a mongoose. We already installed it last week, so we just need to require it today. There it is. Uh, and we'll export the uh, the schema. Right. So this will be a module module. That exports, 
a mongoose uh, dot schema, right? and um, and a quiz will have what? It'll have a title as a string, and what is the, what else will it have? What else will it have? So according to the uh, to the uh, to our data model, according to our data model, it says that a quiz is made up of just a title and the questions, right? Title and the questions. And here we have a we have a couple of uh, uh, of options, right? We have a couple of options on how do we implement those questions, right? Uh, one of the options is to have the quizzes right here embedded inside of the quiz, right? Uh, and and that would be fine. Right? It, it depends on the use cases. Right? If, the, if, if a use case might be that I want to be able to reuse a question in multiple quizzes, then, we're not, then embedding it in here would be a bad choice. Right? Maybe I, I want to reuse the same question in multiple quizzes. Right? That would be a, uh, a, a legitimate use of a, of a question. Right? I want to reuse it in, in quiz number three and in quiz number five. Right, so if I, if I want to reuse it, then it would not be a good idea to embed the quiz in here. Right? Uh, instead, it would make sense to uh, have it as a separate uh, as a separate uh, collection, right? And then just reference it from here. So let's let's uh, let's take that option instead. Right? Let's uh, uh, let's say that we want to be able to use uh, this question in multiple quizzes. Uh, so it would make no sense to have the quiz embedded in here. Uh, I mean, the questions embedded in here. Make sense? Uh, what about, I mean, we could say the same thing for submission. Right? The, notice that the submission has as, a, as, a, um, as one of its attribute uh, all the answers for that, for that, uh, for that submission. Right? Right? Again, here we would have the option of either uh, embedding uh, the answer right inside of the submission right? or having the, the answers be a separate collection and then referencing it, right? having like a foreign key and referencing that, that answer over there. And again, it all depends on uh, the use cases. Right? Would it make sense to have the answers you know, live independently of a, of a, of a submission? Right? Does that, is that a, a sensible use case? Would I ever want to list all, all answers, regardless of what submission does it, does it belong to? Probably not. That's probably not a, 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 a legitimate use, a use case. right? Right? Whereas questions might make sense to exist outside of a quiz, right? because you could have maybe a pool of questions, right? and then you reuse different questions in different quizzes. That makes sense. Uh, so it makes sense to have quizzes exist outside uh, 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 their parent quiz. It makes no sense to have answers outside of their parent submission. Okay? So this, uh, the, the implementation here for the, for the answers probably makes sense to have it embedded as part of the parent submission, make sense, right? Okay, so so when we when we implement these two one to many and one to many, we'll probably take completely different approaches, right, of implementation, right? One of them will be embedded, whereas the other one would be uh, a reference. Make sense? Okay, so let's go this way. Let's go. Uh, quizzes will have a reference to all the questions, to all the questions that are being used there. Make sense? All right. So first. So let's focus on being able to just create a quiz. Now, let's do that first. Now, let's get that going. We'll, we'll tackle this one to many a little later. Okay, so let's focus on just getting the quiz and the title in there. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's go back. And right now we just have a string. That's all we have so far. Uh, what else would we want in here? We'll probably want uh, to tell uh, Mongoose that we want to um, store uh, these uh, these quizzes in in a collection called quiz, right? So let's let's uh, configure that. We'll say that uh, this is uh, the collection that we're going to be using. It will be a quiz. All right, make sense? Everybody good? All right, hey, awesome. Uh, all right, excellent. So let's uh, let's keep going. Um, we'll also probably need uh, the model, right? The model is what allows us to. Uh, interact uh, with the uh, with the database it allows us to uh, insert, find all, update, delete, right, uh, all from programmatically using the Mongoose um, API, right. So let's uh, create here a model that allows us to interact with this. So this will be 
uh, quiz.model.server.js, right? Uh, and, uh, and in here, this will be kind of like the, uh, the repository, right, in Java, right? It, it'll provide us some uh, generic uh, API uh, that uh, will allow us to interact with, uh, with their underlying quiz uh, collection, right, using a higher level uh, API. Um, all right, so let's uh, we'll, we'll need uh, we'll need mongoose again. So let's uh, load mongoose. So this will be require uh, mongoose mongoose. And we'll also need that uh, schema. So let's uh, let's uh, load the schema. Uh, so this will be the quiz uh, schema. Will require the file we just created two seconds ago. So this will be in the same local directory. So this is uh, the quiz schema. There it is. Uh, and we'll create the, the model that goes along with it. So we'll, we'll create the uh, quiz model. Uh, again, using mongoose, uh, using model. Uh, and we'll give it a unique identifier of uh, the quiz model. And we'll be using to uh, implement the, the schema here that we just declared earlier. There it is. Any questions? Makes sense, right? Right. Um, along with this, uh, we we uh, implement all the um, uh, all the CRUD operations that we would we would expect to be able to uh, create, update, delete, and manipulate uh, quizzes. Uh, so let's just let's uh, create a couple of these. Uh, probably we'll need something to create a a. a um, uh, a quiz, so we'll probably need uh, a function called, um, let's see, uh, create a quiz, right? And uh, taking as argument a quiz object. Uh, and this will be just an insert, right? It will be just a create. We'll use the low level mongoose, the low level, um, sorry, the, the, the low level model, quiz, quiz model, mongoose model to just create the quiz, right? And that's it. Right? And we could just go through each one of these. Uh, uh, right? For instance, uh, if we want to be able to retrieve all the quizzes, it'll be something like find all quizzes. And this uh, will take no arguments and retrieve uh, quiz model dot find. So that retrieves all the quizzes, correct? Uh, and if we want to retrieve a particular quiz, uh, we'll have something like find quiz by ID, right? That probably will take us argument the quiz ID, and we'll use the quiz model uh, find by ID, find by ID, that takes us the argument the quiz ID. Right. Uh, again, these are all CRUD operations. These are the boilerplate CRUD operations that we would expect. Um, uh, uh, usually, um, you know, like, like Java uh, has, has a, a swing. I mean, um, Spring has all these templates, right? Interfaces that already implements these boilerplate uh, Finder and, and uh, these CRUD operations. Instead, here we find ourselves having to implement them uh, from scratch. Well, not quite, right? We, we're, we're using these um, uh, these mongoose uh, helper functions. Uh, what else would we would expect to have here? We probably would expect to have a uh, an update. So update quiz. Uh, probably will take us arguments the quiz ID of the quiz that we're modifying and a new new quiz. Right, that will allow us to update a quiz. So something will be like quiz model uh, update, and here we'll have to filter and say we want to um, we want to first retrieve a particular quiz. Uh, actually, um, uh, we'll probably, uh, we don't want to re replace it. We'll, we'll instead first find it, find by ID, uh, the quiz ID. Uh, and uh, once we find it, once we find it, we uh, would say then uh, here's the quiz uh, object. And um, oh, actually, no. We could use set. No. Yeah. Let's use that. Let's uh, let's use set. So update 
So the, the ID would be quiz ID, quiz ID, there it is. Uh, and once we have that, uh, we can just use set to change whatever we want to change, right? So we could say uh, set, and we can just use new quiz, right? New quiz will have all the attributes that we're modifying, including either the title and the, and the questions, right? Excellent. And finally, uh, delete, right? Delete quiz. Uh, we'll have the probably uh, the quiz ID as an argument, and we will remove it using quiz model dot uh, remove. And it takes as argument here. I forgot an L here. Uh, and we'll remove using the ID as a as a filter on removing that particular ID. Excellent. That's it, right? I mean, that's that's all we need for the entire model. Uh, we would uh, expose this as a, as an API. We could say um, a mo a module module dot exports and provide an API for this, right? So and just list all the all of these that we need, right? So this is pretty much what we uh, did uh, last week, right? Just uh, just reviewing some of that. There we go. What else do we need? We need uh, probably update quiz as well. Oops. And delete quiz. Make sense? Everybody good? All right. So excellent. Uh, let's um, let's let's now start uh, using some of this right to uh, to create a quiz and and list all the quizzes. And what will be interesting is that. Uh, if you remember, one of the requirements is that when you retrieve all the quizzes, when you retrieve all the quizzes, you only want the titles. You don't want the answers. I mean, you don't want the questions, right? Uh, and, uh, but when you retrieve a particular quiz, we do want all the, all the things underneath, right? Uh, so we'll see how to do that uh, a little later.